Why We Remember, written and illustrated by students from Graysville School, Graysville, Manitoba. Every year on the 11th day of November, we are told to take time to stop and remember the people who were just like you and like me, who risked their young lives so we could be free. These people died long before we were born, so why should we take the time to mourn? We're given a poppy to pin on our chests. We're told to sit still and to listen to guests. Talk about fighting in a faraway land. It's all very hard for us to understand. Welcome to our school. Some people think learning about war is a bore. Some people think it's cool because of the gore. People who say this make us all really mad. Remembrance Day is supposed to be sad. Look at the cool war planes. We think that these people would feel pretty bad if they just stopped and thought that could be my dad. On Monday, he's there to kiss you goodnight. The next day, he's gone off to war to fight. You sit all alone and worry that he'll die. You wish that you've given him a nice long goodbye. You're told that he's fighting so we can be free. Another new word, freedom. What could that be? I chose to vote. Freedom means people can make their own choices. You're wrong. Freedom means we can hear everyone's voices. No. Freedom means you can decide to say no. Freedom means you can choose where you will go. During the wars, soldiers lined up in rows to fight for their rights to defeat their foes. Without freedom, you could be locked up in jail, left wandering softly. Who will win? Who will fail? You would have to obey unreasonable rules. There would be no nice houses, churches, or schools. And the worst part of all, if you don't do as they say, then you may not survive till your next birthday. Freedom is something that's worth fighting for but we paid a high price by joining the war. People died in the wars, and not just four or five. Thousands of Canadians didn't come home alive. That would be like if you took a whole city and everyone died. It would be such a pity. And those who came home were never the same. Thousands returned either wounded or lame. Even the soldiers who came home all right would never be able to forget their tough fight. Can you imagine bombs falling right over your head? Or hearing that your very best friend is now dead? So each time you see rows and rows of white crosses, think of the families who suffered the losses. They still work hard for the ones they have lost they continue to remind us of what freedom costs. Maybe next November on Remembrance Day, you'll salute a war veteran and be sure to say, thank you for all that you did in the past. Let's hope today's soldiers will find peace at last. Thank you. The end. I hope you enjoyed reading and listening about the importance of Remembrance Day. Until next time, please hit the like button and subscribe for more books for us to read together. Bye!